identity While the rich man says We are a menace to society But they don't know what it's like What it's really like What it's really like On and on we go Or if we try to uphold Our brothers turn to crime Killing each other for a dime Here I am at the Mafi Asiakbe District Assembly Kindergarten. In fact, this kindergarten has a wonderful teacher who is using various forms of demonstrations to teach the children to actually understand what she is trying to teach. Unfortunately, this classroom block is under this tree here. Though the tree is providing some shade, but there is so much distraction here. The major road is here and vehicles are passing by and it's making a lot of noise, making the children not to concentrate in class. Uh, the kindergarten is actually a temporary house in a church building. The school is not a mission school. A church is here, uh, but they cannot use the church premises always for their school especially when the church needs it for their activities. Well, I'm going to talk to the teacher to tell uh, me some of uh, the challenges she faces teaching under this condition. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I realize that uh, teaching under this tree is quite challenging. And what are some of the difficulties that you have uh, teaching the children under this condition. Okay. Uh, effective teaching is always distracted since we are just by a major route. Anytime the cars are passing, you see the children's attention distracted. And then secondly, we have teaching and learning materials to be pasted in the classroom for effective teaching. But since we don't have classroom, Anytime there is a material, the pupils, they mishandle and then how to paste them is a problem. Thirdly, when there is a problem with the weather, classes come to an end. Those are the major problems we have. And for how long uh, have you been going through these challenges? I mean, little kids um, having to uh, go through situations like this. For how long has this been going on? My fourth year here, this is what we have been going through. Wow, so <laughs> meaning others have had it and then uh, uh, you have been handed the button to also go through the same with these uh, children. Um, to think of these children uh, studying under this condition, how then do they um, make it like other kids in other uh, schools that have all the facilities what are these children actually missing the the gap is so huge since they lost a lot of things having access to a, a conducive atmosphere for learning it can never compare to it can never be compared to those in the cities and then the towns well practically this loud sound here we hear this loud sound and uh, there is distraction obviously the tractor is passing with sand and uh, <laughs> it's unbelievable i don't know how uh, you are able to make it under these noisy conditions i mean i've just had a feel of it uh, so it means these children really have to do more and you the teacher how does this stress you Oh, okay, during lessons when the cars are passing like this, sometimes I have to pause and then allow them to watch the car pass before we continue with the lesson. And then as each lesson is, is time bound, it distracts us so much. What is your wish? 
we we need a classroom right after visiting the isiape kindergarten in the volta region to see the condition of the school the new team moved to a nearby town jabutu when we got there we realized the condition was also the same the children sat and wrote on cement blocks as if that was not enough the school does not have enough educational facilities that could ensure effective teaching and learning we face real ghetto pressure. You have been promoted? Yes, sir. To which form? JHS2. JHS2? Yes. And this is a classroom that you've been promoted to? Yes. You've... From day to day we live Searching for our identity While the rich men says We are a menace to society but they don't know what it's like What it's really like What it's really like To face real ghetto pain To face real ghetto pressure To face real ghetto pain To face real ghetto pressure On and How are you? I'm What's your name? My name is Mavido. How old are you? Yes. Which class are you in? Class 4. Class 4? Yes. Mm. And is this your table? Yes. Oh, okay. Because there is not enough table in the classroom? Yes. Wow. So this is your desk? Yes. Right. You don't have a table and chair? No. Oh, why? Ali afi as you prepare for class yo. Ana mo demi ano. Ma demi ano. Mo smo. Okay, so it's not sufficient. Yes. So this is what you use every day. Yeah. And how does it affect you? Ali or dear for now, how, how does it affect you? No no ge, kaka man ko. Ana what is thing is school ma puri. Ah, uh, school for the. Ah. Uh. Ojima na fewa. Nyo no nyo. Your back. Yes. Your back hurts. Yes. Sitting in this way. What are you sitting on? Block. Oh, you're sitting on cement block? Yes. Wow, that's a hard one, isn't it? Especially the sitting posture. Well, it shall be okay. It's the only way We face real ghetto pain We face real ghetto pressure We face real ghetto pain We face real ghetto pressure seem to be having issues with furniture, right? Yes, please. Oh. Well, uh, how does this issue of furniture, inadequate furniture, affect teaching and learning? Sir, as you can see, some of the dentists which are not even strong. So people sit on a tree or, or two. So due to that, as you are teaching, you need to do other things. Instead of what you are doing, mm. uh -huh. which removes their focus from what you are doing. Right. So it affects teaching and learning. And as the people sit down, he or she don't feel comfortable. Right. Yeah. She or she don't feel comfortable at all because how can a desk like this, which is not even strong enough, two or three people sitting on top of it? Uh -huh. So do an example like this to have effective recourse and then the record of the child. Need to let some of them sit on stone and other green furniture from home before we read the exam. Oh. As you can see. It's a difficult one using cement blocks as cement your as chair. Our table and the chair. furniture, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're still thinking deep to see uh, how we can find a remedy to this. Thank yeah, God. but what, in your opinion, what do you think can be done to solve the problem? So we just try to those who can give us help so that they can provide. Because now depending on the district will not be enough for us. And as a community they come together, try to do something. That is the one that they try to do. But as you can see, they are not even strong enough for them. To face real ghetto pressure. To face real ghetto pain. On and on we go Or hate we try to uphold Our brothers turn to cry
wine Kill each other for a dime While your press I say And turn into politics It's the only way We face real ghetto pain We face real ghetto pressure We face real ghetto pain So Seeing the situation and how bad it was, my colleague Empress AC Amwa got her team together and they decided to bring an intervention. The work was hard. They started working on the field, direct work with their involvement. And um, it took some few weeks to get it done. And this is what they were able to do. This is the community of Jabu, where we have seen so many problems and we are trying to fix them one after the other. We have already given them a kindergarten block with washroom and now we are renovating their class 1 to 6 with a washroom. You might be wondering what this structure is. Well, let's talk to a member of the community to find out more. So what structure is this? It's a GSS-1 structure in, inside here. It's for GSS-1, the newly GSS students. They came, came to, from classes to join uh, GSS-1 in this structure. Is it only JHS-1 in here? Please, yes. So where does JHS-2 study? They study in the, uh, the mud structure over there. They, they move to that mud structure. That is where they are studying now. So how does this affect their academic work? Uh, it means they will not learn. Uh, so far as it started raining and they've, we, they've closed. They can't uh, study that very day, so they have missed a lot. We came here, saw the situation and are playing our little role to make it better. We all have a role to play in the development of Ghana. William Foundation, on behalf of Verna Mineral Water Consumer, we would like to give this school to Jovopo community. Thank you so much. stakeholders and profitable uh, organizations should also emulate this example so that we can have a very large country where we're developing ourselves. We don't have to wait for aids from other countries to make these things happen for us. So I think uh, this is a very good example for other companies to look at to uh, uh, you know, contribute to our development in our country. Impressive, to say the least. I, I mean, we've all been 
talking about William, producers of Burna and how great they have been, but I think it is worth adding that the community must own the facility. The community must be responsible for the society. They need to take very good care of it. You know, we have such a bad maintenance culture in Ghana, and so sometimes you see a very horrible school a few months down the line, a company like Verna comes in to put up a facility for them, a well-deserving facility for them. And then down the line, you see that it is deteriorating. We cannot continue like that. When we do that, we seek to discourage others from going in to invest. So let's take good care of the, the school, the parents, the teachers, and the pupils and students themselves should be responsible, they should take good care of the school. For me, I was not fortunate enough to have uh, a kind of like, mathematical thing. You have to buy, you know that. Yes. 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 So for me, thanks to Vena, yes. I have to come back to the school. Yes. I'm not yes. <laughs> yes. Please, can they give me the uniform? Yes. I want to be in class five. <laughs> I'm proud of her, I'm very very proud of her and I think that she should be given a pat on the back. You should do more, don't be discouraged, keep pushing, okay? Uh, I feel so proud personally because I'm part of this as you are part of this and as all of uh, Verna consumers are part of this. I believe we're all happy today and we all feel proud because seeing those children happy and they are going to get better education, this is our goal. Your brand is touching people's lives and in other communities we've visited. What are your upcoming projects? Thank you. As you see, we have done uh, so many projects, uh, some of them uh, for uh, awareness, for instance, for breast cancer, for autism. Uh, we helped the homeless people, we moved them from the street, we provided for them shelters. We created the jobs for them as well, and instead of they go to beg on the street. We have uh, granted so many uh, students uh, scholarships, and now uh, we are moving into uh, education. Now because we have discovered that the education system in our country, Ghana, has to be developed and has to be uh, uh, well constructed uh, in terms of uh, structures and facility. After our visits to all the regions in Ghana, we have seen the same thing here. So this is, is it is not a unique situation about Ghana. It is all over, but people don't talk about it, people don't see it. So when we do our rounds, we see more people are suffering from education and from facility. And looking at it, you are preparing for a better uh, generation. With such education, you can't really hit your target. So you really have to work on this. So because we have so much love, for the Ghanaian children and for Ghana as a nation. So that's why nowadays we are going to put all our efforts and all the money we are making from Verna Mineral Water, we are going to put it together and do school projects. What has been your experience yet? Oh, my, my experience has been very encouraging. I mean, seeing a young person like you getting involved in what is going on is, is very phenomenal. I'm so excited. And one of the things that you and you, Ghana, is doing is trying to encourage all young people to come out to talk, to be part of decision making in their environment. And I see you championing this, dressed like a queen mother, 
getting involved, cutting the sword, is something that encourages me and tells me that it's true. Young people can really be part of very critical decisions like this in their community. You saw it all yourself and we hope you got inspired with what you saw. That is a 10-year-old reporter from TV Africa making a difference. Yes, you can also go to your community, rally support of your own people, and start initiating development projects like this one. We all have a role to play in Ghana's development. It starts with each one of us. You cannot put it all on government. Don't say it is the responsibility of government. We are government and it is our responsibility. We can get it done. For TV Africa, I am Kofi Yamwa reporting.